Please report to room 303 to see Miss Morton. All of such first years in need of feelings and fashion. Please report to room 303. Hello guys, welcome back to Planet Him. So yeah, we're finally here. We finally have something for the Shadow High era. And I'm excited because Monster High is back and the dolls look amazing. So I'm so excited to see what Rainbow High does for like this whole goth, this whole goth kind of thing. Now, looking at some of these pictures, let me go ahead and pull it up real quick. It seems that we are going to be getting the black and white girl. And I honestly live for that because I've honestly been wanting her for a long, long time. And I'm guessing she's going to be like in the whole Shadow High era thing. Now, if you're looking at the box, it says, watch out Rainbow High, an eclipse is coming. So I'm wondering how this is going to play. You know, I'm, I wonder how an eclipse is going to play into the story. Honey, give me storyline, okay? I need like... I don't know, they're all just chilling at Rainbow High one day and then the eclipse happens and some type of magic portal opens in that little, uh, in the little clip I showed at the beginning, some type of like magic kind of weird portal opens right there and they walk out like we are the rejected students of Rainbow High. That would be sickening. That would be sickening. But I don't know if these these girls are gonna gonna have magic. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't think Rainbow High really plays into that. I think it's very like I don't know. I don't see magic really being a thing in the Rainbow High world. But maybe maybe they might gag the girls and switch it all the way up. You never know. But if I recall correctly, in season two, episode one, I believe Stella said that a whole group got cut. So maybe the black and white girl, maybe some other kids got cut, and then those kids went to Shadow High. You know how Ainsley's supposed to be there? Maybe somehow something happens and she gets kicked out or blah, 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 something happens. And she ends up at Shadow High. Like, I don't know, I feel like, I don't know. I feel like Stella saying that a whole bunch of students got cut, I don't think it was just like unintentional. Like I feel like that kind of is gonna play into the whole Shadow High thing, especially since we see that this black and white girl might be going to Shadow High. You know what I'm saying? I think it kind of it kind of works. I feel like it kind of works. I, I don't know. I don't know. It might be something there. I might just be reaching for the stars, girl. But this is what I'm guessing. This is what I think. This is not facts. Just just me talking and rambling. Period. Now this girl right here. I don't know who she is, but she is giving. She looks like she might have either Simone's face mode or like Daphne's. Either way, she looks good. Um, I wonder like what her color scheme is gonna be like. I wonder if she's gonna be a part of Shadow High. Cause what I'm guessing is Shadow High is gonna be like kind of goth. I don't know, like, I don't know. It's just like, this doesn't scream goth, but okay. Like, I don't know, I'm just gonna wait to see what happens or where this goes. Cause we really don't know much at all yet. All we know is Ainsley is transferring to Shadow High. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm here for I'm here for the doll competitions. I'm here for the doll battles. Period. As long as both both companies are gonna put their best foot forward, I'm with all the shits. Okay. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel, and make sure you guys are always being yourself and staying true to who you are because you're yourself that at least. Peace, y'all.